Hello and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. So, can we leave? It's the question we asked. You must be tired after going into the metaverse. I admire tenacity, but let's just call it a day. So we cannot leave, which means that we have to do something in here. Now, I have been told that Sojuro's level five rank um, confidant, you need to wait until August to get. Now, I don't know whether the level four one is also locked and that's the reason why we haven't been able to get it, but it would make sense given how much we've got like little ups with him. But we could still try and get something given that we're stuck in here. Uh, the only other thing I've been told is that there is a book in July that we want to check out of the, um, it, yeah, we want to check out the library and we aren't that far off July. So what I think we might do is we might just do a simple read. Hey. Yeah. I think if we just finish off the Gallant Rogue, which is the one that we checked out, we should be able to trade it in and get, uh, yeah, and get the one when July starts. Make sure you close up. See you, Sojuro. And this will get us uh, three guts at least, I reckon. Striking a pose of defiance with tobacco pipe in hand, he truly looked like a great thief. Wow. Ishika Ishikawa Goemon was a thief without peer, so he was a hero of the common people, huh? And we finished oh. it. Finished reading the Gallant Rogue. That splendid spirit that pays no mind to the bad guys. He's a true example of a th gentleman thief. After reading this, I'm sure you have a better understanding of a chivalrous thief's courage. <laughs> hey, we get three, and all three go to guts. Here we go. <sighs> and we should go to sleep. So, off to bed we go. Ooh. I've been thinking lately. About those phantom thieves, I mean. If Dad were still alive... And with that line, we now know where all of the tension is coming for those two. I'm assuming their mother is also not around. But, uh, yes. If Dad was still alive, that would be the tension line. Sorry, I... I shouldn't bring this up while we're eating. I wonder how he died. It's okay. Keep going. I just wonder if he would have been on their side. That's all. The only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else. That's not... You don't have to do a single thing, and you're provided with food, clothes, a home. I've had no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. Would Dad have been happy with them? I don't care. Wow. It's really quite unfair to uh, put that on uh, this per this person who is still in school. I mean, I, you can get where she's coming from. She's stressed, she's busy, um, and she's not really into the question. But she encouraged the question. She let it. She get the co got the conversation going, and then like, no, I'm gonna put you down for opening up to me. He died upholding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. All I was trying to say was... Isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Right now, you're useless to me. Yeah, she's in school. Most school children aren't that useful. All you do is eat away at my life. <laughs> That's some serious resentment she's got built up there. <sighs> Sorry, that was uncalled for. I'm just... Really tired. I'll be eating dinner out from tomorrow on. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Alright then. That's a pretty awful home life. I just remembered. I've been seeing a lot of shows on TV lately about these phantom hearts, phantom thieves of hearts. I just wonder, why bother stealing hearts? You can't do anything with them. They have no monetary value either. If I were them, I would go for something with a concrete, clear value. Like gold. Speaking of, there's another kind of metal that's very valuable in its own way. They're called minor metals and they're used in many electronics. In fact, most of you probably have some on your person right now. In your pockets, in your purses. Give me an answer. Were you listening to Kamaki-san? Give me one example of something most of you have that contains minor metals. 
Huh? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I, I mean... Hey, wait! Hey, Lady Ahn is obviously panicking. Be a good guy and help her out. It's your mobile phone. Hey, this doesn't look good! Wow, I don't know at all. Sorry, Alpex, can you help me out? Something that uses minor metals, and all of us have something like that on us? Uh, right now I've got my lipstick, my smartphone, and mascara. What do you think, Alpex? One of these has minor metals in it, right? It's your smartphone. My smartphone? Oh yeah, she said something about electronics, right? Okay, so the I'm answer finished. must be my smartphone. This is it. Correct. Precisely. A lot of minor metals are excavated in China. Some countries simply produce more than others. 90% of the minor metals used in Japan are imported. But a lot of the recyclable trash we throw away contains minor metals too. In other words, a junkyard is much more valuable than someone else's heart. Ooh, thanks for the help. Nice going. Lady Ahn seems really relieved. I mean, I gotta say, not really the most difficult of questions. You're pretty good at studying. I'm impressed. Studying? I, it was just, you mean listening. Okay. And that one wasn't even like, there weren't even two we answers that were sort of close. Are we out of luck? It's no fair his palace is up in the sky. If only we could contact the real Kanashiro. Hmm? What do you want? Nothing in particular. I just saw you all together here. Huh, oh, that's so. You seem to be having quite a bit of trouble. So you're here to check up on us? You may be the student council president, but when it comes to what we do, you're useless. Useless? Oh no, that's the trigger word. Right now, you're useless to me. I love the flashbacks the moment after something happens. It's like, did you forget what happened less than a minute ago? And there was no chance to save and go away between things? Well, here's a reminder. All you do is eat away at my life. To be frank, yes. Just stay on your high horse and watch. Or do you want to eavesdrop since you're so good at it? <sighs> so you wish to get in contact with Kanashiro? That is what you were just discussing, weren't you? It seemed you just needed to find out where he is. Hmm. No, oh, from you. We're not gonna pile on. What to say? That's the only way. Answer her honestly. Yeah, but we're not gonna be mean to Makoto. Did you see what happened in their family life that we didn't our character knowledge? All of that sort of stuff. So you're just the good girl type to push over. Right now, you're useless to me. Did we need another flashback to right now where you're useless to me? Is this just in case we missed the previous flashback and the scene as well? What was that? Fine. I'll help you meet Kanashiro. Oh, what exactly is she planning on doing? She had a dead serious look in her eyes. Does this mean she has an idea as to where Kanashiro may be? I highly doubt that. I didn't like her stern face. Uh, what is up with her? There are way too many people here! We're never gonna find her! Ooh! Phone's Hello? gone. It's me, Makoto Nijima. Just stay on the phone and listen. Make sure you record the call as well. Huh? Who is it? Do you guys know Kanashiro? What? That idiot! What's she doing? I heard I could find someone named Kanashiro if I came to Central Street. Central Street? She's being too rash. What are you getting at? He's blackmailing the students of Shujin Academy, is he not? 
tell him if he doesn't want me talking to the police about it, he better agree to meet with me. You got a death wish or something? He says he'll meet you. Get in. Uh, all right then. You better be taking me to Kanashiro. He said get the fuck in! Well, see you, Mikoso. Hey, wasn't that... Yeah, that's the last we're ever gonna see of her. It's the guys that messed with us the other day. So they were connected to Kanashiro. Is she still on? Contact Kanashiro-san. Tell him we got a good one. Where are we going? Yeah, I guess we can't do anything to her if she's Kanashiro-san's customer. Hey, I asked a question here. Where are we going? We gotta go after them! Ryuji, get a taxi. I'll... Okay, I've got their license plate. My sketching skills have come in handy. Alrighty then. So, you're seriously the student council president of Shujin. This was not what I expected him to look like. You know what happens to anyone who snaps at me, don't you? So, whose number is this? Your boyfriend? What in the world? Who the fuck are you? Nijima-san! What the hell did you do to her? Oh, I get it. You got followed, you dumb shits. Holy moly! That's La Dosh. That bag you saw the other day, the crocodile one, how much was it? Mm, about three million. Better thank those guys. What? I'm royally pissed right now. Can you tell? You know how spending money relieves stress? Uh, yeah? Okay, seems a little bit of the, an odd timing to do it, but okay. It's you goddamn brats sniffing around like dogs and barging in here like you own the joint. See this empty space? I'm so pissed that now there's a three million yen gap here. It pisses me off even more if I don't fill it up. I'm a perfectionist. So, good luck. What? What is that supposed to mean? Come on, you all look so tense. I think I'll call it debauchery of minors at a club. So, can I send this to your school? Damn, I got booze and cigs in the shot. Maybe some drugs, too. Ah, this is so hilarious. I feed on dumb shits like you. Understand, pretty little student council president. Now listen up. Run your mouth to the police, and I'll break all of you, starting with your families. I gotta say, it's just the, the way he's talking is weirding me out, because it's this weird whisper talk. Which I'm I'm leaning closer into my mic in the screen and I'm like, maybe I can hear him better, even though I know it has no mechanic that works that way. Like moving closer to the screen does not make him louder. I'm like, he's a very odd fellow. I want to give you the usual month, but well, you have such a large group here. Three weeks. Bring three million yen by then, no less. Oh, all right then. Summer bonuses are around the corner, you know. It'll be easy if you beg your mommies and daddies. Well, Arn, um, you're the one of us that's got one of those with money, so... I mean, it's up to you. <laughs> now get out of my sight. I'm about to have some fun. I mean, three of our parents are dead, and Ryuji just has one who doesn't have any money, so... Yeah. 
That is basically on on current plan. What? To hell with that! Don't bother with him. Makoto's safety is more important right now. Three weeks for three million yen. Things have taken a serious turn for the worse. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to drag you in like this. <laughs> for real. I was stupid. I must agree. You should have easily imagined this happening. Wow! Cold! Hey, Yusuke! I was so caught up in trying to be useful. Alright, enough of the blame game. It's done is done. I'm gonna cause trouble for Sis, too. Sis? My older sister has a commendable job, and she's a much more remarkable person than me. A lot happened after we lost our father three years ago. So it's just us living together. But I'm still a child. So all I am is a burden to her. Hmm. And that's why you were so reckless? I just wanted to be useful in some way to someone. You know, I might not get your whole situation, but ain't it a bit off saying that you're useless to her? It's the truth, though. In particular, I have to apologize for what happened to you. Uh? Now that I think on it, the truth about Kamashita must have been covered up by the whole school. I had my suspicions, but I couldn't do anything about it. No, I didn't do anything. Had I cared enough, I could have done something. People like me must really be what others call scum of the earth. You've got some serious self-esteem issues. I, I think I know who to blame, but you know, you definitely have them and we need to work on that. Real scum wouldn't call themselves that. Huh? I'm the same. It's just like you said before. I was closest to Shiho, but I didn't do anything. Besides, Kamoshida's the one to blame. Shiho understands that, and I do too. Takamaki-san. You didn't have a place to belong either. Isn't that right? Me either? We won't let anyone fall victim again. Now, what should we do from here? I'll do something about the money. So can we please just drop the case with Kanashiro? Oh, no, no. Absolutely not. No can do. We're all caught up in this. We can't have you rushing things on your own anymore and making the situation worse. If only we could do something about that bank. Ryuji! Bank? Oh, right! The bank! She isn't useless at all! She may be our key in! Uh, how so? Hear me out, you guys. Our key in? What do you mean? She's gonna think that this is so weird because she can't hear Morgana. A cat? Um, are you all okay? We've become Kaneshiro's targets. That means we've become customers of Kaneshiro's bank. I see. The reason why we couldn't enter before was because we weren't considered his customers. Sure, let's go with that. And wouldn't you say that she in particular is a special customer? Let's take her with us. She is responsible for our current situation. That seems like a bad idea, let's do it. Whoa, I don't follow this at all. She risked her life doing something so reckless. At the very least, she has the right to know. Won't you come with us? What? Wait, to where? Yeah, where are we going? Beats me. And through to the other world we go. A canine? Oh, right. Sorry, I was looking at Morgana thinking, that's not a canine. I'm talking about the, uh, the fox mask. It's fox. Be quiet. 
the shadows are going to notice us. A monster cat? I'm not! That's Morgana, the cat that was in his bag. This is what happens when we come here. That voice... Takamaki-san? Oh, come on. The mask doesn't hide her identity that well. Where are we? We're inside Kaneshiro's... Uh, well, the world inside his heart. What? It's another reality in which Kaneshiro's distorted desires have materialized. Like, duh, did you not work that out? Another reality? It's floating in the air. Th this is reality? <sighs> My goodness. <sighs> I I'm sorry, it's just... But since this really exists, I can't doubt it. A reality that one's heart shows. Is it like the application of optical illusions in social cognitive psychology? A what now? That's something we have no idea about. Uh, it sounds correct though. I see. So stealing one's heart, that may be like overriding their cognition. I think I kind of get the logic behind it. Ain't she more amazing than you? <laughs> oh, wow. We're about the same. Then does that mean there's an ATM version of myself somewhere in this world too? Yes, there would be because there was a second version of An in Kanashiro in, in in Kamashida's uh, palace, so that means that there are multiple versions of people. Perhaps. Regardless, we can change Kanashiro's heart and make him confess if we steal his treasure. If it all goes well, that is. <laughs> we'll make it go well. Everyone will notice us for sure if we take someone like Kanashiro down. Our justice will also become resolute. I just had an interesting thought. Or if you, you know how you can change the real world to change the cognitive world? Could you do this, the same the other way around? So change the cognitive world to change the real world. Well, not change, but change their, perspe uh, their perception of the real world. For instance, if you hid the ATM for um, Makoto, would that guy then forget that that's somebody that he's going to get money out of? Just a thought. I don't know whether the game's going to use it, but that's, I was just thinking that's another interesting application. If they're doing real world affects this, maybe this affects cognition in real world. Think we'd be able to give courage to those in need if it happens? For the sake of those in need, huh? You sound like my father. Your father? Yeah, who was your father? No, that don't mind me. You brought him up about 10 times now, but who was he? You want to go to that bank, right? Let's go then. If I've become a customer of that bank, then they'll have to let me in. For real? Oh. It came to us. It's just as I calculated. You know how you can use your card to get into banks during after hours? I thought that I'd be able to get in, since I have the same identity as such customers. I'm kind of Shiro's source of revenue after all. Ah, oh, that makes sense. I love when they just spout nonsense and one of them's like, ah, yes, that makes sense, and you're just meant to move on with life. Wow, this place is huge. I rarely gotta go to the bank, so this is making me kind of nervous. Being in a bank with costumes like these is so obvious. We're totally robbers. You got that right. It seems there will be a lot of shadows from here on. Huh? What's that about? Enemies attack us here. I see. I've trained in Aikido. Don't worry. I can defend myself. Oh. All right, then. Self-defense won't do much good against shadows. But then again, it's better than nothing. 
We have to go in from the front, don't we? I'm an honorary customer, so I better act like one. I will be useful for you guys. Are we just walking in? Come on, let's go. Well then, let's head inside. I guess we're ready to go. One thing I want to check, though. Before we go inside... So this is the actual music. That's really cool. I like it. I was just checking that this wasn't like, you know, um, music due to the outfits. It might still be music due to the outfits, but still. Cool. Um, what's up? My mind is made up. Let's go inside. Alright, let's have a look around first, though. The golden pig. Yeah. Damn, that's one hell of a pig. I doubt it's for collecting money, so why is a pig decorating the entrance? I don't know. It looks a little bit like Kanashiro. Is that the reasoning? Oh, the pig's fallen over. Let's see if we got anything else to look at back here. Giant yen symbol. Okay. Anything else? Nope. That's pretty much it. These things? Nope. What if I just leave? Hey. Shouldn't we be heading in? Uh, Nashi Nishima Senpai is going to uh, keep us. Let me try that again. Shouldn't we be heading in? Nishima Senpai is going to keep going without us. All right. There we go. Let's go in. Shall we go? Alright, we're going in. What business do you have here? I had a feeling this would happen. Come at us. No, no, wait! She's one of Kaneshiro's customers. I'd like to speak with the bank president. Excuse me, but do you have an appointment? I need to talk to him. Now let me through. Let him pass. That's that this is working? Okay. Voice. It's Kanashiro. I, Yo, banks have presidents? I didn't expect this to work. Yes, but not the political sorts. In theory. Please wait. Reception is to the right, toward the back. I strongly advise you do not attempt to go elsewhere. Alright. Hello. Let's see if we can do anything with anything else. So I'm assuming that that way is where the reception is. Let me just see if there's anything else we can do here. Now what happens if I try and go this way? Hello. That's not the way. Just get in towards the back. Okay. Let's go this way. Nope. Okay. There is no benefit to going the other directions, but that's fine. Reception is just past this door. Alright. Hey, that's not the right way. Just past this door, so hurry on inside. What about if I go this way, though? Okay, I think I'm getting the pattern. What about if I go this way? Alright. Reception is to the right. Don't go anywhere else. Alright. That's not the right way. Hurry up and get moving to the right. Alright, alright, alright. Incredible. This place is gigantic. Well. Oh, well, I guess anything goes in the palace. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'll be going this way now. This is the reception office. Hurry on inside. Okay. Uh, it says reception room door. What about this way? Oh, what about this way? Oh, how about round the corner? Hey! Come on! Let's go over to the reception before we go off exploring. Alright, alright, alright. Let's head in here.
Ooh, so we don't get to speak to him directly, we just get to look at the mountain of cash. What happens if I look at the TV instead? Nope, just the cash. Alright. How many beef balls could I eat with this? Unauthorized entry, property damage, and other disturbances. That comes to three million yen in total. You're here regarding that, correct, Miss Beautiful President? It must be quite tough gathering so much money. I'd be willing to give you a loan, you know. That is a very weird loot. You gonna call it off then? No, a loan. The interest rate is 10% a day. Oh! 10% interest a day? Um, uh, that means uh, one day is... 300,000 yen. It's 300,000 yen. There's no need to be alarmed. I have a more manageable option for people like you. Oh, I bet you do. That was your plan from the beginning, wasn't it? Quite the impressive insight, Nijima-san. Or should I say... The younger sister of the beautiful prosecutor, Sai Nijima. How do you know that? Please don't underestimate our intelligence network. My, what wonderful goods have come falling into my lap. Don't be ridiculous! Young women are such great assets. They lack strength, be it social, physical, or mental. It's as if they only exist to be devoured by the strong. That just might be the rule since the dawn of history. You truly are despicable. You better be ready, Kaneshiro! We're gonna snatch your treasure from you! Don't make me laugh, you petty thieves. My citadel has the highest security installed in it. Oh, hello. Anyone will do anything for money. I'll rob you of your lives as easily as I breathe air. <laughs> Get them. It's Mr. Kaneshiro's orders. Eliminate them at once. Okay. I don't see a weakness. Well, I know a weakness. That worked. Uh, I don't think you're meant to win this one. Look at the damage that they do. Or the damage we do to them, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, wait. What have we tested? We tested gun. Let's try uh, normal damage. Ooh, a technical and a critical. Nice. Um, we might actually just straight up win. Never mind. This is easy. I've got it. Um, this is my other yeah, step. use this one. Going on, strike. Oh, a crystal, huh? Let's have a chat. Let me your power. Aw, oh, this is dumb. What's the point in talking? Words aren't getting through. All right then. Now, Get him. Okay, guys. Go, Oh, it's another two. Hello. I don't see a weakness. Well, let's start testing weaknesses then. Uh, let's go for a go down. Kuha. Nope. Mazio. Inflated one of shock, which is cool. So we get technical. Uh. Fire damage and burn. Let's do medium fire damage to this one. We, we got the burn off. Uh, burn you can set off of a. You can set up burn with a wind First attack, off. which we don't have. I could do this though and get a technical. Which was also a critical. So we can then baton pass back over. Okay. Not over yet. And then Zone hit out. you with a Garu, which should right be a technical. Now. There we go. The target is currently stuck here. We need more backup. Don't let them escape. We must take them down. Do you think it's just gonna keep sending more until we lose? <laughs> That'd be brilliant. What the? There's no end to them. Have they really been hired with money? We're in trouble at this rate. Let's run. What do you mean? We're not even in danger. 
Okay. Sure. Run. Why did the security guards turn into monsters? And what were those supernatural powers? Could those have been the personas you mentioned? Does now really look like the time to be asking that? We need to retreat. Makoto, make sure you don't get separated from us. Hurry, Joker. The exit's just over there. Yeah, yeah, but what if we have a look over here first? This way! Oh. Alright. Let's just go for the exit, huh? There's no end to them! Guys! I mean, we only killed four of them. You seem to be in quite a pickle. You look like quite a pickle that yeah, the joke was in my head somewhere but pickles aren't purple we'll, we'll, we'll uh, put that one back into the writing room come back later with a better one how dare you sneak around Kaneshiro those would be my words however I do thank you for providing me with such wonderful goods it's time you disappear Got them guards wired up like Alexa. Managing a bank is tough as it is, so it's my policy to kill clients who are more trouble than they're worth. Having one impertinent brat disappear is enough to set an example in that other world. Please stop! Oh, I wouldn't damage an asset like you. They're dead men walking, but you'll be just fine. Your sister is quite a beauty, though. I'll make sure to make her my personal slave. Once I get bored, I'll just sell her off. Oh, poor sis. She could have been successful, if only her younger sister wasn't so dumb. My sister has nothing to do with this! Then you better start taking customers tomorrow. Wow. All you gotta do is endure it, and do as you're told. Endure it. Do as I'm told. You'll earn three million yen in no time. Although your life and everything along with it will be a complete wreck by then. <laughs> I've been listening to you go on and on. Shut your damn mouth, you money-grubbing asshole! Oh, I'm ready for Have this. You decided to tread the path of strife? Yes. Come to me. Very well. Let us proceed with our contract at once. I am thou. Thou art I. You have finally found your own justice. Please, never lose sight of it again. This memorable day marks your graduation from your false self. What the hell? Well, that's cool. A persona? No, dude. That's a bike. <laughs> I can feel it. Myself. Me. Got it. Wow. Nice. What is that? I've never seen anything like it. You better earn your keep, or else I'll kill you. I will not lose heart again. Ever. I'll go full speed, non-stop. Right, Johanna? Oh, it's those three. Don't get all cocky just because I normally behave myself. I am done playing nice. Let's go, Johanna. Full throttle. The enemy's agitated. Take them down and make an opening. Uh, all right. So that is her persona. I was wondering if she had something different, but I think that is her persona. persona. Let me just have a look at that persona here. It is the Gaia Pact. Increases allies' chance of uh, inflicting burn-free shock by 
It is a nuclear persona. All right, that's cool. Medium physical damage to all foes. Got heal. We got forget. We got some defense increases. So let me just compare her to someone else. We can. I'm thinking fifth. What level is she? 21, 15 strength, uh, 15 mad. She's got kind of neutral stats. I suspect she's going to be a buffer debuffer with a little bit of healing on the side. Background. The mysterious female Pope of the Middle Ages. Oh. She posed as a man and eventually made it all the way up to Pope due to her unrivaled intellect. Her existence shook the history of the Catholic Church. And now she's a motorbike. Alright then. So you reckon these guys are weak to nuclear damage? At least one of them is. We know what these guys are weak to yet? No. Alright. Baton pass. Uh, oh. I was gonna say baton pass over to, um... Over to Yusuke. Apparently he's not here right now. So we'll go over here. Uh, I just wanna check. Do you wanna check? Psy, Curse, and, um... And Ice. So Psy, Curse, and Ice. Do we have any of them? We do have Psy, so let's switch over. Let's go. Nope. Okay. Um, curse and Ice are the next two to check. they got to be weak to one of them, surely. I'm not going to switch to this one. It weirds me out. I'm going to switch to this one instead. Let's try. Wait, that hits everything? Oh, nice. Must be Ice they're weak to, which is fantastic, because that's the one thing we don't have. Unless... Yeah, it must be ice they're weak to. I was going to say unless they don't have a weakness, but surely they have a weakness. Let's sweep this one. Stands up. Well, see you later. See you later. Alright, um... Well, I know I got a technical on the one on the left, so let's do this. Nice. Uh, I know that nuclear will get us another attack, so I should use nuclear. Right, so now there's only one thing. Uh, let's switch over to an ice-based one. Do I not have ice on anyone? Oh! Oh, alright then. Let's switch over here and you... you actually, let's just baton pass. Not over yet. Nice. Um, chance of shot. Hey, we got it. Nice. Well, I think we're gonna do this. That works. Now, let's get out of here. Uh, I just noticed that we've got writing on the side of our jacket. Italian Stallion Rider Equipments since nine uh, since 2009 and different ending music We know how to get in now our objectives been accomplished But how are we getting out? There's only one exit, right? So you're totally the fist of the Phantom Star now, huh? Do you want to get smacked? I'm going on ahead so follow me Damn. Okay, we have a path. Everyone get in? Of course. Get in! Of course. So you'll stand against me no matter what. Very well. I'll wait for you all. There's no escape in reality. Nor will you break through the security system here. It doesn't matter what you do. You can kiss your bright futures goodbye. Man, talk about wild. That was no Aikido. That was some hardcore ass whooping. I am so not pissing her off. I feel like she'll rip off my arm. She does exude that aura. Oh, stop it. This 
This is the most exhausted I have ever gotten these past few years. But it felt pretty great. I never thought I'd become part of the Phantom Thieves I was after. Sis might faint if she found out. You mentioned her earlier. She's a prosecutor for the district, and she's investigating the Phantom Thieves. Wait, ain't that bad? No need to worry. A normal investigation would never lead them to a world like that. Then again, it must have been fate for this to happen. What do you mean? I can't be like my sister. I had a feeling that there'd come a time when we wouldn't see eye to eye anymore. I'm thankful to have a sister who works so hard, but... There are times I feel sorry for her, too. And after hearing my persona's voice, I clearly understand how I feel now. It appears you're not as reserved as you make yourself seem. I was just doing whatever the adults told me to. Oh, she's an adult person as well with the, uh, <laughs> rotten adults. Shakes fist. Won't she be perfect as our advisor? She's fearless and has a sharp mind. Sounds good to me. We've needed someone like that for a while now. I'd be honored if I can help out. We had way too much testosterone anyway, so I feel much better. It's from Kaneshiro. He's reminding us of our debt. So the Kaneshiro over here doesn't know what happened inside the palace. That's right. But his palace will be affected if the real Kaneshiro's cognition changes. We can't be lax. Seems it'd be best to avoid unnecessary contact with him until then. Three weeks left, huh? There's that security system, too. But if we pull this off, it'll definitely be great! We'll crush him like a fly. I'll make him regret making me angry. Anyways, let's begin our operation tomorrow. First, we need to secure a route to the treasure, like always. You guys are finally starting to get used to this. I'll be waiting for the call to meet up. Oh, phone's going off the hook. Damn, motorcycles are cool. I wish my persona was like that. Yours is on a ship, though. Dude, you kidding? Motorcycles are way cooler than dumb boats. It, it'll just be like the song. I'm a phantom on a steel horse I ride. Don't say such things. And for the record, I am most certainly not wanted. Honestly, I'm mostly just surprised you know how to ride a motorcycle at all, Najima-senpai. Do you got a license? A regular one, yes. Nice! I can't wait to get my hands on one too. That aside, mind if I change the topic for a moment? What, away from Bon Jovi? What is the matter? I'm sorry, everyone. I know I'm not in any position to be saying that. I truly do. However, I must apologize. It was my actions that dragged all of you into this mess. On top of that, I misunderstood your true intentions in this. If only I could have realized what was happening to Suzui-san, too. Come on, we don't need to talk about that now. It seems there are still lingering issues on everyone's minds. Now is not the time to be talking about that shit, though. Don't we gotta be doing something about Kanashiro? He's right. Very well, I understand. Anyway, I'll do my best to make sure that I don't slow you all down. Well, we were at odds with each other until just a while ago. But Ryuji's totally right. We need to work together to overcome this. Alright. Nice. Makoto seems like she'll make a reliable advisor. But now we're going up against a real criminal. Stay on your toes, okay? Hey, hey another box came for you? <laughs> hey, it's our alarm clock. Apparently these are um, hot garbage, I believe. Uh, gifts are things apparently you can give when you do an event, when you do something with a confidant, but you don't have a level up. So if you don't have a level up, you can give them a gift and that gives you a bonus towards getting the next level. 
However, I've been told that they are pretty bad, which is, I assume, because you're kind of meant to have the next level before you spend time with the Confidant, most of the time. Okay. Uh, hello. Mm. So the palace is a bank this time. It should make a worthy target. Let's have a look here. Wow. I was just checking. No. Yeah, I was double checking whether having um, a new party member meant that we had to pick up DLC for them. Oh, I just realized something. New party member. New DLC outfits. So what's her... So what one did she get? She Oh, she got Catherine's outfit. But Catherine with a K. Oh, okay. Interesting. Cool. We'll look at those uh, next time we go in. Uh, we got the detective show. Can we leave? I just want to check for next time. Hey. Nope. Okay, well, I'm going to end the episode here. And next time, we are probably going to go after equipping Makoto into uh, the new palace. So, I will see you then. Goodbye.